Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your love reading for the next 24 hours for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest if you'd like to get a personal reading. There's a link in the description box below this video. Click on that link, we'll take you to my booking site. You can choose for a 30 minute or a one hour phone call. Okay, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, please click the like, share, and subscribe button if you enjoy this channel and this reading. All right, Virgo, we're taking a look at your person, um, person you may be thinking of or maybe not. Could always be somebody new, but, you know, we see how the cards play out. But let's take a look. Past energy here. Wow, traction. That card shows up a lot. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And wow, true love. Virgo, I feel like this is the fourth time in a row that this card has showed up in the past for your reading. It just makes me want to reiterate that, you know, whomever you're thinking of or whomever the person in the past was, was um, this was a true love connection. Okay. Um... Now, the star is here, so your person could have been in the public eye. Um, also, uh, so it's Aquarian energy. We have Scorpio twice. Um, so I feel like your person, there was like a real tower moment. This person was very blocked, um, although incredibly attracted to you in the past, but very blocked, and the tower came in and changed all that and there was a renewal of some sort there was hope like fresh new hope um like a miracle <laughs> um or your person it feels like they were full of faith um they may not have been as open with you um but i feel like this person truly longed for long-term security in a relationship all right, let's take a look at this tower. Okay, so, hmm, page of swords. For some, for some of you, this person destroyed your relationship and then withheld. Okay, um, or blocked. They may, they may have blocked you, or you may have blocked them, and. They just, it's bizarre. Or they feel like, oh, that's it. They feel like, oh, wow. Okay. <clears throat> In the past, this person sees or saw that you blocked them in some way. Okay. And it was like a crushing blow to this person's ego. And because of that, they spent a lot of their time either spying on you, they stayed very curious, talking to other people, uh, seeking some truth, maybe about what something something might have happened. Um, this person, I just kind of pick up like a bit of obsessiveness with you. Um, very attracted to you and truly in love with you. Okay, look, the tower again, yeah. Crushing blow to the ego. Maybe you ended something with them in the past. Or they feel that you did. It was like an upheaval. Things just, you know, that crown chakra kind of thing going on. Like the destruction of the ego. But emergence of fresh new beginnings and new hope. Okay, Queen of Wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Okay, so something here happened in the past. I don't feel... I'm not exactly sure what happened between the two. Maybe because they were very blocked and they weren't sharing their emotions or they couldn't, but they wanted to hold on to you anyway. You might have just ended something with them in the past. And it's like, you know, 
how can I say it? Like, they're just giving me, I want to say it's an analogy, but it's not because I'm getting an image of like water flowing down in the stream. And when you block that stream, the water will rise. And as long as the water keeps coming, it'll just keep rising and find its way around. And I feel like this person, um, at every step of the way that you just maybe said that was it or you just weren't engaging anymore this person found other ways in the past to try to keep it's almost as if they became more attracted to you or their love grew for you and then they wanted to be with you even more it's very bizarre okay the present express your love and keep an open mind all right well in the present this person guess what I'm opening up communicating with you in the present to overcome whatever these conflicts somehow they find a way to you somehow they get a message to you virgo um, there's transformation and change here in this person and it feels like um they're going to reach out to you express how they feel about you okay keep an open mind they know that you guys have differences there's something you're not the typical couple okay and they they feel like you're not someone that they would have ever particularly chose but it it almost feels like because there was obstacles in between the two of you it made this person want to win your heart even more and it does here in the present okay so the ace of swords i would have to say expect some communication um from this person to try to get some clarity from you or find out like i think they know that you needed them to open up emotionally to them to you um and i feel like they're gonna try to do that look the queen of swords coming in with some truth so libra gemini aquarius um but also trying to start some dialogue or conversation with you and sitting in a position to also be listening to what you have to say. Now, why is this death card here? Okay, three, yeah, transforming, trans making change here within who they are. Big changes. Moving on from this energy in the past and coming into try to commit. This is the marriage card, the three of pentacles. Um, coming into union and harmony with you and uh trying to put some type of like put their nose to the grindstone to try to like it feels like um like teamwork like yeah okay I'll, we'll do this we'll work together um <laughs> it feels like like they had that true love feeling for you but and it was very attract maybe they maybe they assume that the attraction was true love but it feels like for you it might have been a bit deeper than that and your person it feels like they were very blocked because when i look at this four of pentacles he's like blocking his chest area where his heart chakra is you know blocking the area the soft soft spots of themselves and that just with that tower card that's the ego is blocking that heart okay so the two of wands, the two is always, that's balance, duality, partnership, making a decision, choices, reflecting. There's diversity here between the two of you. And I said that in yesterday's reading, the four of swords, wanting to heal this, wanting to heal your relationship, wanting to heal this connection, the future. Okay, you deserve love, unrequited love. You know what, Virgo, it looks like your person is going to fight to the death to try to make something work here. They know deep inside that because of the differences, they sense that there may not be enough between you to keep the relationship going. They know that you deserve love and they know, but they believe that they're not worthy of your love, but they're going to try to try to heal the connection going forward to try to bring it's almost okay I just there's a part of i feel like there's like a part of them that's doing it out of a sense of like they need to to win they need to win your heart 
Um, but because the ego is destroyed, it doesn't feel like it's coming from a place of ego. It almost feels like they want so much to believe that it could work, that you guys can, despite the troubles and obstacles. And that Knight of Wands, that's coming in with like, it's all passion, you know? All passion with this person going forward in the future. And it kind of feels like they know that they have competition and they're willing to stand up against the competition for your love. <laughs> okay yeah the magician manifest make it happen they're gonna definitely try to make this happen with you the lovers yep look at that over the seven of wands and that's what i was saying standing up against the opposition and the competition to win your heart the lovers whatever it takes surrendering whatever it takes if they had to if they if they have to get 10 knives in them they'll do it all for love <laughs> they'll do it all for you it's like a, a real brave heart kind of energy <laughs> look here's a knight of swords yep charging into the battle they don't care about the outflow they just have this their intention is to win your heart they want to win your heart they didn't try that in in the past they were very blocked about that. And even though they had hope and they definitely felt like you were a wish come true, but I don't understand. Why didn't they open them? Oh, the ego. Yeah, the ego was definitely in the way. Why didn't they just express their love? Because I, that's, I'm hearing that express your love song from Madonna. Why didn't they do that? Oh yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Oh, they're used to being single. They're used to being independent. Being single and independent and working and have your money is safe. They don't want to get hurt. The only reason people stay in a safe place is because they don't want to get hurt, right? So I kind of feel like that's what the energy was with this person. Um, I know some of you are like, I don't want to hear back from them anymore. I'm done. Okay, that's fine. Move it along then, right? Uh, Unfortunately, some of my readings do pick up that energy um, of your past person, and the f they fantasize about you. <laughs> Looking for you, wondering where you are. They want to talk to you. They want to try to bring you. <laughs> they want to express their love to you, even though they know that there's, you guys are just, I don't know, you're like two two tectonic plates going in different directions, rubbing against each other and creating all this chaos. <laughs> Yet, it's challenging. You challenge them, Virgo, because you don't give a shit. You love them, you just needed them to express their love, and if they, they weren't gonna do that, then you're fine. You're like, okay, fine, and go. You know, but it's the challenge. You're not a doormat, Virgo. I don't think I've ever met a, a Virgo that was a doormat. <laughs> okay, it was my fault, but I blamed you. Yeah, they probably did do that. Probably said some nasty things. Like it was your fault that they weren't happy, you know? Yeah, they definitely want forgiveness. I mean, you do what you want, Virgo, but it seems to me like you guys are going to be coming into union here with this lovers. Like a deep, there is a deep partnership and they know it and they want to... They want to go down and dive into the depths of their feelings and their love for for you and that's not really something that they're comfortable with but i don't know some kind of miracle happened <laughs> with them they got like their hope back or their faith um okay hold on i'm gonna get a couple other cards here we are more alike than i admit yep so you guys are just again there's some diversity between the two of you. You're both very diverse people, but there's that's what your similarities seem to be. Yep, I fear that you will reject me. That definitely played a role with this person. That's why they kept themselves in that safe place. I don't feel like this person fears rejection 
from people they're not close to. I feel like it's people they have deep, intimate relationships with that they fear being rejected or abandoned. I think anybody else, they're just take it with a grain of salt and they're like, whatever, that's your opinion. I don't know you, it doesn't affect me. But with you, um, kind of a different story here. And that's why they really just held back. Sometimes I hear your voice in my head, okay? I don't know how, maybe you sing. They listen to you on the headphones or um, you come through somehow. Uh, maybe they just can still hear your voice from communication you've had in the past or they hear somehow, they press the play button and they hear you. I wanna tell you so many things. Wow, Virgo, opening up, expressing your love. Expressing your love as emotions and feelings of a lot of things they want to tell you. First of all, they say they forgive you. I think you're going to squash that. What do you mean you forgive me? <laughs> well, Virgo, you know, maybe you have some things that you need to be forgiven for, right? I mean, none of us are perfect, right? So just so you know, like if there were any things that occurred in this relationship or in this connection at any time or something you might have said or done it feels to me like this person's already forgiven you for that because they love you and it's fine um but they do know that they were careless with you virgo yeah because they were just leaving you on red a lot or just not really responding to you but they don't know how to let you go, Virgo. And I feel like that's this person has not let you go. I don't feel like this person is like even willing to acknowledge that no matter the differences between the two of you, um, or no matter if you separated or you split up or, or things just came crashing down or you blocked them, they're still... coming forward okay oh boy it's a squid is that a squid honestly guys like ladies or whomever look at that it looks like a phallus symbol <laughs> looks like that rocket jeff bezos went up into if you know what i mean um but it's a squid <laughs> okay maybe this person eats squid or somebody likes squid or something with tentacles but tentacles definitely like they're t they want to get their hands all over you still and that is something to do with seafood as well I need somebody squishy 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 let's see okay we have a blue box hmm. Now, I just saw a map. Um, okay. If you go on Google Earth and you look up an area and then you press that little, um, it's like a little person icon on Google Earth. It shows you the street and the street shows up on bl in blue. If some of you live on like a square block or like a city or something along the line. This person, part of their <laughs> little stalking thing that they're doing, they looked up your street. Or if you moved, they did a search to see where you lived um, so that they could like, I don't know, I, f I kind of feel like this person feels like you're with somebody else. That might have a lot to do with some competition as well that they maybe you're not or maybe you are I don't know but there is this thing where they're kind of spying so they're going to google earth and looking up your address looking for the street looking for your area to see just being very sneaky I've never looked at that and saw that but that immediately just came up to me okay so we have the peace sign and we have the om om that's what it's called okay wow yeah you guys are very you might be from like you have different spiritual beliefs are you from different cultures um 
you know, I don't know what the culture of the peace sign. Maybe somebody was born in like 69. The Om um, comes from uh, somewhere in Asia. Okay. And I'm not real. Like I know the peace sign, you know, peace, love, and happiness. And the Om um, is more like a vibration. So you just can go with that. I, I don't... I'm not really sure what I'm picking up from that, but then I just heard something very sexual, like a vibrator or something. I don't know. And, oh, watermelon. I just heard that song, Watermelon Sugar. I don't know if you've heard that, but that seems to be, that song means something. If you haven't heard it, um, listen to it. I think the lyrics might resonate for you in some way. But the watermelon, like somebody loves watermelon or you're eating watermelon. Um, there's something here. Like somebody had like watermelon, chunks of watermelon and then had some seafood for dinner. Or um, maybe growing watermelon. Or the gum, the flavor as well. I wanna pull one more time. Oh, footprint, baby's foot, wow. Baby's foot, foot, baby's footprint, like stamp on a birth certificate. Um, mm. Could this have something to do with somebody having a baby and your person didn't want to commit and now is coming back in? to try to sort something out here with you. Or um, this could be connected to a, a family member, okay, as well, that, that baby footprint. But this is also like taking the first step. And I feel like your person's intentions here, I don't feel like they're, they're bad intentions, you know. I do feel like they're going to take a, a first step to try to, you know, initiate there's going to be an initiate, like they're going to initiate a phone call or a message or something to talk about moving something forward here with you. Like they're going to take the first step. You don't have to do anything. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave your messages there. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Virgo. Please do hit like and uh, subscribe on my channel if you do. If you're new, I upload videos every day here. All right, so I will see you guys if you would like to join in Saturday morning for the um, live stream where you can pop in and get a mini, mini paid reading with me. Um, I'm there from 11 to 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot. And I'm thinking I might do live streams here on this channel to get personal mini readings. So I'll post a poll to see if anybody would be interested in popping in for one of those as well. All right, you guys, love you. See you very soon. Bye.